the uh, situation on the streets of uh, France's uh, big cities uh, this uh, Tuesday. We're joined now by Benjamin Amar from the CGT Union, France's biggest and, of course, key to these demonstrations that have been going on. Benjamin, thank you very much for joining us here in the studio. Thank um, you. I know what the arguments are, and I know what your line probably is, though you may surprise me. The image, though, that the world gets from France is the image of the clash on the streets. Can I just start by asking you, who is causing the trouble? in these demonstrations? Mm, this is a very good question indeed. Uh, I think the first, um, the, the first responsible is the government. The government? Yeah, of course. Because you've got uh, this social movement since mm, the 9th of March. And 70% um, um, of the population in France is uh, uh, um, doesn't want this this law, this labor law, and in the parliament, in the parliament, uh, the government uh, doesn't um, um, doesn't have a, a majority. So the first responsible is the government. Okay, so the government provoking is what you might be saying, the agent provocateur. But can I just ask? Yeah, who is throwing? the projectiles, what the objects, whatever it is, at the police, because that's what's causing okay. but the tear gas to be yeah. fired back, isn't it? We've got, we've got black bloc. Okay, we've got black bloc in, 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 in uh, this manifestation, in this... Demonstration, okay. yeah. In this okay. demonstration, yeah. okay. We've got black bloc, but it, it's not a new, a new ev event. Mm. This is um, has hold of the capitalism. Since the 19th century, you've got the, this kind of action and movement. Do, this do, is you, not do new. you think it hurts your cause that people do this? Of course, but I, um, um, I, I noticed that 80% um, 80, uh, 80 mm -hmm. of the population refuse the 49.3 article. Let uh, me just so repeat that. 80% of people in France, you say, refuse, yeah. are angry that the government chose this decree, 49.3, to push through of course. its El Khomri law reforms. Of course. Okay. And the, this kind of... Uh, uh, the action of the Black Bloc and the, the fight between uh, police and Black Bloc uh, didn't change that. And when you say Black Bloc, it's the people who are causing trouble. Yeah. And are, are they part of your union? No. Okay, uh, No, fine. no, of course. We've got... Uh, and and I, I have to to add one thing: mm -hmm. um, the the police can stop this kind of action. Mm -hmm. In newspaper in France, um, a lot of policemen say that th they didn't have the the orders to stop that because I think that the government like this kind of, uh, of, of situation. You think it's a manipulation so people will take their side? Of course, I think so. OK, can I just move on to um, the reforms themselves? Now, mm -hmm. would you accept that France, with such high unemployment, with such problems in creating jobs, needs to change? OK, um, I know that in, in England, for example, Margaret Thatcher and Tony Blair changed the labour law since um, uh, 25 years ago. And, and uh, we, we saw that UNICEF, UNICEF explained that in England, mm -hmm. one child on four live under the uh, poverty level. OK, so I don't want this change of, this change of solution. How, uh, how can France... Uh, obviously, it, it depends which political uh, side you're on, I suppose. You can look at what Thatcher did in Britain and say that was a great thing, or you can look at it and say it was awful. It depends how you, how you look at it politically. But let's speak about France today. How can France become more... I'll use the word competitive, though that is a right-wing word. How can it become more um, caring for its, its people? Get, get, get them jobs, create jobs. That's a left-wing expression. How can France serve the people, serve its people best? OK, uh, the CGT, my, my trade mm. union, with, which is the, the first yeah. trade union in yeah. France, think that uh, the solution is not to, to destroy the labour law, but to, to make this labour law stronger. And we think that this is the solution. Because, uh, you know, in France, you've got a lot of, um, uh, I don't know the word in English, but th this country is, is not poor. 
uh, we produce a lot of uh, of um, of I don't know the word in in, in English of richesse. Richness. There's lots of money around. There's lots of there are lots riches. Of money. And the problem for CGT is not the production of money, but the distribution. How it's being used. Money. How of it's course. being distributed. Of, and uh, you know, in in Dutchland, in Germany. Yeah. Um, I think uh, 15 years ago, uh, Schroeder, this is a German mm. socialist, mm. destroyed the labor law. Mm. And uh, you've got, and Germany became the country in Europe in which the inequality uh, between got- the citizens is the greatest in Europe. The gap between the rich and poor. That's something you don't want to see happen in France that get bigger. not at all. Benjamin, we need to leave it there, but I hope we will speak again. Uh, I know this week there'll be lots of action and lots of things happening, and I hope you will come back and talk to us about that. For now, we need to leave it there. Thank you so very much indeed for joining us here in France. We appreciate your time. Benjamin Amar from the uh, C. GT Union, uh, the biggest in France and, of course, key to uh, the ongoing uh, industrial action which is uh, going to be taking place uh, throughout this week against the uh, Loire El Conri or the El Conri reforms. Thanks once again, sir, for joining us. Well, next here, live uh, from Paris, we uh, turn our attention to the uh, situation on uh, Syria.